，在基础科学迎来新变革的时代，学科交叉融合正重塑着人类认知的边界。菲尔兹奖得主安德烈·奥昆科夫作为当代数学界最具跨界视野的学者之一，以其开创性的研究，在表示论、代数几何、概率论等多个领域都产生了深远的影响，开辟出一条独特的学术路径。二零二三年十一月，奥昆科夫当选为中国科学院外籍院士，他对中国传统文化展现出浓厚的兴趣。从临摹书法到学习茶道，奥昆科夫试图通过这些传统文化体验，探寻东方思维与数学原理之间的深层共鸣。Professor Alkunkov, it's a pleasure to have you with us. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's great to be here. What do we do in Chinese culture and history? 感兴趣，我我我我很高兴参加你们的呃演出节目。所以您在从事数学研究和教学之外，还抽出时间来学了中文，而且中文讲得这么好。哦，我讲过，我讲讲。您<笑><笑>学了几年中文了？我我们熟悉呃，我们熟悉中文呃，在网呃网上的啊。哦呃一周两次，两年前，两年前开始学中文，两年开始。Let's do the interview in Chinese. <laughs> maybe, maybe in a few years. Give me a few years to so learn it, some more. Yeah. This way,、uh, you know, to manifest, to show that cross-cultural、um, and interdisciplinary learning is so important, something that is very dear to your heart. Right. I think what I like the best my whole life. Is to learn new subject and see how they connect to something I already know, and、uh, so in terms of learning about Chinese culture and history, and I very like to drink tea. I very like to do calligraphy. Calligraphy. I very like to do calligraphy. These sort of old things that that. That mixes amazingly well with 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 what China has become in terms of its role in today's mathematics. Because you are absolutely your country is absolutely the future of mathematics. There are just so many young people, so many people focused on 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 on, on mastering the art and science of mathematics, mastering it really deep and really well. So on one side, it's it's hist it's very long history. On the other side, it's、uh, it's the future. Of course, what's what's obvious to everybody is in terms of、uh, maybe Chinese technologies and whatever cars, batteries, cell phones,、uh, high-speed trains. But it's the same in mathematics. You have you have a quite an amazing number of young people who study mathematics extremely, not not just seriously but passionately, and that's that that's really impressive. Yeah. So what did Learning Chinese and studying Chinese made you discover or uncover about aspects of the Chinese culture that you you thought, wow, this is something that I previously didn't think about. Oh, many many things. This has certainly made me really realize it、uh, very very acutely. Is that、um, why Chinese people so good at geometry? Of course, having a strong school of geometry is one thing, but also having this visual. This visual sense of things that comes with Chinese characters. That's actually been, like I said, it's not me who who pointed this out first, but I can certainly relate to that. Having all this visual richness of of the, you know, one and the same character, many 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 people, many epochs, many styles, and have、uh, emphasized different aspects of the same character. But also all of that is visual. Is is somehow relates immediately visible to the eye, and somehow that's. That's that's one aspect in which I I, I certainly certainly makes. I mean, when we you're saying that、uh, um, learning Chinese, which is a picture-based language,、um, uh -huh. you know, dating back、uh, to ancient days,、uh -huh. uh, is correlated to is studying geometry, which、absolutely. also takes a spatial and abstract thinking. Absolutely, absolutely, and 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 not just that. It's 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 also that the characters they have their own life, right? I mean, they not. They're not as frozen as the letters. People people approach I mean characters in a very personalized way, and that's 
which is why, for instance, I, I, when I go to, uh, to a museum, I always, if there is a calligraphy section, I always go there because it's, it's, it, it's, it's really interesting how people, how their personality is reflected in the way they write. I think that that is absolutely strongly correlated to why Chinese, Chinese geometry school is so, is so strong and of course growing stronger.